Hey Coke Man, this is Sleepy, um, this is a re video response to your gardening spring contest that you were having, and I just wanted to show you what we were doing as far as our garden is, um, and for you thinking what you're offering as prizes is small, let me tell you that is not a small prize. Anyone who gardens knows that seeds are very important. But they're important for people who live in the suburbs too who maybe don't have the property to grow food but you can do it in containers but you got to have the seeds to do it so this is an awesome contest and the prize is really good so i'm just going to show you a little bit of what we're doing uh, it may not be good for everybody but <clears throat> we'll see how it works for us right here are our green beans and really don't have to do a whole lot with these our main problem right now with our beans is the squirrels in the morning they're down here just running and playing and flipping and tossing and running all over everything and I thought well they're gonna kill our plants but I've looked at them they haven't hurt them they're doing good over here are our tomatoes and you're thinking wow why would anybody plant so many tomato plants? Well, I didn't start with this many. If you'll see the row that here that's got the baskets, this is actually what I got to start with. And these are the heirloom beef steaks. They were, um, how much were they? I'm thinking they were $3.48 a piece at Home Depot. And Walmart had them for $3.38. <clears throat> so I had bought 18 of them you know because I thought man that's high for a tomato plant but they are heirlooms and we'll be able to harvest the seeds which I'm going to learn how to do and if you look here I went to another store in our community and they had the heirloom Roma tomatoes and they were four plants for $1.48 so you know what I bought all they had there's 40 plants here and uh, they're doing good and I plan on putting up a lot of tomato sauce and tomato juice and canned tomatoes so hopefully there's enough tomatoes here to put up but as far as um, as far as gardening we don't have a whole lot of money right now because you know work isn't as busy as what it should be so we were putting baskets around our tomato plants and my husband thought well we've got some old fencing out here from where we'd set up our chicken pens and our dog pens and whatever and he took that and he cut it and he he made a ring around the tomatoes let's see if you can see this and then he tied them off with these uh cable ties i think they're called they're plastic pull string things and the post in the ground it's what he could find. Here's some metal piping he had. Here's some PVC we had that he actually tied up um, to protect our plants and when they're ready to produce. So just because you don't have a lot of money, a lot of times you can find things around your house to use for what you need for your gardening. Um, we also let me see if you'll hold on I'm going to take you to the back because we've got some squash plants back here and we noticed they had a what they call a powdery mildew and I went online to find out what you can do about it well there are some natural remedies for it most stuff everybody keeps in their house and I didn't know how it worked but I'm going to tell you it worked and it takes a dishwashing liquid baking soda and water sprayed on the plant I got the video going I'm talking to myself <laughs> if you'll look at these plants if you can see it these are nice healthy plants but a couple of days ago they were covered with some powdery mildew I'm going to see if I can show you what it looks like there's a little bit still on this leaf so it may have to be treated again but the stuff worked and it did it overnight it's all natural and stuff you would have in your 
supply storage so if you couldn't get to the store and buy any you can treat your plants and I'll just give you a little hint show of what he's doing as far as the tomato cages this is some old um, what kind of fencing you call this field fence. it's field fence and we've used this for our dog pens and is this is just some we've had laying around that really wasn't being used for anything so he's cutting it and then he tie wraps it together he sets this over the plant he makes a stake of what he can find around here which we're about to run out of stuff we may have to go try and buy some stuff and then he uses these tie wraps here to attach the fence to the stakes so the wind won't blow it and it'll help support the plant as they start producing anyway this was just my response to your contest um thank you for all the info you give and the seeds are a wonderful gift so whoever gets them that that's a nice thing to have thanks bye